What's going on, guys? This is Moonchild of Do No Way, and today I got a PvE build for Warlocks that combines fire and darkness to set the world ablaze. Since the buffs in Season 15, Bottom Tree Dawnblade could be the best Warlock subclass, so in this video, I'm going to show you some mods and exotics you can pair together to chain explosions that blow up everyone in the room. To become the Dark Phoenix, the first thing you want to grab is the Dawn Chorus Helmet. This exotic extends the duration of all your burn effects and makes your super deal bonus damage. To apply a burn, just hit a target with any of your abilities and they're gonna start taking damage over time. With Bottom Tree Dawnblade, killing a burning enemy makes them blow up and everything they damage is gonna start burning too. That leads to massive chains of explosions and we're gonna exploit the hell out of that mechanic to make your warlock an absolute god of ad clear. To do that, we're slotting the mods Wrath of Rasputin and Burning Cells. Wrath of Rasputin is one of the best mods in the game because it makes kills with your solar explosions have a chance to spawn a Warmind Cell. When you blow up a group of dudes, you're pretty much guaranteed to spawn one and that's a chunk of extra damage that you're getting for free. When you put on Burning Cells, everything hit by the cell explosion starts to burn and the Warmind Cell damage gets changed to solar. With these two mods together, the burn's gonna spread around like Lamidia at a college dorm. You're gonna wanna get your abilities up as often as possible, and to make that happen, we're slotting the mods Explosive Wellmaker and Elemental Light. Explosive Wellmaker spawns a solar elemental well when you get a multi-kill with an explosion. That's gonna proc over and over when you're chucking grenades and melees, and with Elemental Light equipped, every kill with your super is gonna spawn a well too. Bottom Tree Dawnblade is basically the best ad clear super in the game because every kill you get extends the duration. As long as you're slaying out, you can make this thing last for a hot minute and you're gonna be dropping wells left and right. Put on Font of Wisdom to fill your super bar up and minimize the time you don't have it. When you pick up an elemental well, the improved ability regeneration buff pops up and as long as it's active, your intellect gets boosted to 100. With the Dawn Chorus buffing the damage of your super, you're gonna melt a hole right through champions and bosses. Just hit him with a grenade, start chucking swords, and you're gonna cook that motherfucker like a rotisserie chicken. You can keep Font of Wisdom rolling forever, which means you can give the middle finger to intellect on your gear and focus on stats that matter more. If you're getting value out of this, like the video and watch it till the end to tell the YouTube algorithm this content is fire. With mods out of the way, let's talk about weapons and what you can run to feel like a dark phoenix. In your heavy slot, grabbing a solar rocket launcher is a big brain play. Because of Wrath of Rasputin, every time a rocket blows up a group of enemies, you're gonna have a chance to make a Warmind Cell. On top of that, a Solar Elemental Well is gonna pop up and that helps you spam abilities. You wanna look for a roll with Explosive Light or Chain Reaction to get the most bang for your buck. In your energy slot, head over to the Vault and bust out an Ikelos or Seventh Seraph weapon. If you're watching this during Season of the Lost, the Seventh Seraph sidearm is gonna be your go-to pick because it stuns unstoppable champions. Any kills you get with it have their own chance to spawn a Warmind Cell, and because it's Void, now you've got another option for breaking shields. If you're like me, you're probably not a huge fan of sidearms, but Bungie nailed the audio and this thing feels solid. You can treat it like a close-range auto rifle and dumpster enemies with no problems. By this point, you're a walking god of death. Rooms full of enemies explode into ash and all you did was throw a grenade and loose a couple of shots. But we can take it a step further. Because it just so happens there's an exotic that takes everything we've got and puts a bow on the whole thing. To perfect the loadout and add darkness to the phoenix, it's time to bust out the Wither Horde. This exotic is one of the best ad clear weapons in the entire game. When you shoot it on the floor, a blight's gonna spawn and PvE enemies are gonna flock to it like seagulls on a french fry. It's like they're compelled to stand in it, and when they do, you're gonna get a ton of multi-kills. When that happens, Explosive Wellmaker kicks in and makes a Solar Elemental Well. Wither Horde's damage counts as explosive, which makes it proc every time you take out more than one target. On top of that, you can use the Blight to spawn Warmind Cells, and this is where the real synergy lies. As soon as you fire, swap to your 7th Seraph weapon. As long as that's out, all the kills from Wither Horde's Blight can spawn a cell. In general, it's seven red bars before another one can pop up, but the beauty of this loadout is that all the different ways you can make them are all on their own counter. Now all of your weapons can spawn Warmind Cells, and so can your grenade, melee, and super. No matter what you're using to melt your enemies, you're gonna cover the battlefield in fire and darkness while cells pop up and explosions boom. During Season of the Lost, these are the artifact mods you want to put on, because they make you deal 30% more damage to champions, give your melees the power to stun overloads, and buff the overall output when you have a teammate running stasis. And if you're watching this, wishing you could be a Dark Phoenix, but you don't have the Dawn Chorus helmet yet, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna show you a loadout you can use to smash through lost sectors and farm exotics fast, and to see it, all you gotta do is click the card on the right. Thanks for watching.
I am Moonchild of Do No Way, and I will see you in the next video.